If Kitendo and Conservancy was left without an investor, without IFO's intervention, we would have lost it. Ten years down the line, my friend, I can tell you for free, it was worth it. It was worth it every single moment of it. This is it. It is done. And it's securing that space for the elephants for the next 25 years. To see the landowners of Kitende, 2,600 landowners of them, getting the returns on the investment of the land. I'm happy to report that 100% uh, of our landowners now understand the importance of creating Kitende Conservancy. My name is Evan Mavua Mkala. I serve as the Amboseli Savo Elephant Landscape Programs Manager for IFO. I grew up with elephants in Savo, loved them from childhood. That's how I got indoctrinated into this world of elephants and the wild, wild world. We came down here with basically three things. One, a vehicle, two, a laptop, and three, a great idea, a great vision. That is all we had. And we started from scratch. It was me and Bernard. My name is Bernard. So I was born here and brought up here. I am the son of the soil. I got a scholarship from IFO. And one of the questions that they asked me at the initial stages, why do you need to be educated? If I finish, I go back to community and teach the community the importance of living with wildlife. The bottom line was leasing land for elephants. So how do you do that? We started actually by bringing community together and sit and agree and develop a vision that we need to set aside some land. So you wake up very early in the morning, like 4 a.m., so that you can reach all these destinations 5 a.m. Why? Because you come late, they will have moved out with their livestock. Then you interact with them, because you don't just walk into a homestead and say, I've come to do one, two, three, and boom, 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 you are gone. It is a process. The only thing is to hope that when you get to that homestead, they'll give you a cup of tea and you interact with them. And for me, I don't come from the community, so I depend 100% to Bernard, but we interact together. So that's why we are each other's shadow. I am a resident of this land. I grew up here. They are my people. They are my community. They are my friends. Your troubles become my trouble. My trouble become your trouble. And we become one with the community moving from house to house, from village to village, talking with them. Then from there, you develop what you call trust. Then eventually, they accepted. We'll sign people leases on top of bonnets of cars. And that was a daily thing. For almost one year, we moved from one homestead to another to another. You have to reach every single individual. It was not easy. We made it, I can tell you. The beauty about it, they knew us, we knew them, we knew each other, we knew our children, we know their relationship. So the bond became extremely tight. We bonded so much that they gave me a name Menye Layok, father of the Morans. And that is my name around here. And they ask Menye Layok of Teta Taveta, anybody around in Ongului, and they'll tell you, oh, we know him. That short guy who talks a lot. That's it. And that's me. And I like it that way.
over and above, I'll be very happy to see my local community benefiting from this available resource that are actually within us. Thanks to the work that IF has done, thanks for the empowerment that you were given me and Mana to start off the work. And I think for the work that I've been here, I must say I'm very, very fulfilled. So I am very proud that at this juncture where we are now, there is a permanent coexistence between wildlife and community.